OK, so for this problem, it says negative 4i times 5i. And the main important thing, guys, I want to kind of relate to this is when we're multiplying complex numbers um, or imaginary numbers, it's very similar to multiplying our variables with other variables. And if you remember, when we were doing this, what we do is we make sure we multiply our complex numbers. Or I'm sorry, you multiply your coefficients. Let's do it like this. So you'd have negative 20. And then x times x, we wrote as x squared, right? If you guys remember multiplying um, variables and coefficients, it's going to be the same thing. We're going to want to make sure we multiply the coefficients of our imaginary i. So I have negative 4 times 5 is negative 20. Then I have i times i is i squared. But remember, if you remember last class period, we talked about the definition of i. And remember, we said that i represented the square root of negative 1. So if i represents the square root of negative 1, what that means is i squared equals negative 1. Because if you were to square both sides, you get i squared equals negative 1. So that definition is going to be very important for you guys to remember. Yes? So that, how'd I get negative 20? So then what I write it as is negative 20 times negative 1. Negative 20 times negative 1 is now going to give you positive 20. Right? And that's why your answer is positive. And 10 works the exact same way. No? Good, yes? Did I say that it was like negative 4 i means 5 i times negative 1 i? Would it be negative 1? No. Okay.